What is that? Yes, sir. It's the world's fastest backhoe. The driver of this awesome machine told us all about it. We have something totally different. JCB is typically associated with construction equipment. Uh, but back in the 1980s, we had a, a comedian over in the UK. And he used to tell a story about, you know, wouldn't it be great if JCB had built a backhoe that would do 100 miles an hour? And the owner of the company said, well, yeah, let's do that. So we did. Back in 1986, we built the first GT. Since then, the one they see behind me now was built in 2005. And this is obviously the latest model. The top speed is this in the standing quarter mile. We're getting close to the 100 mile an hour mark. It looks like a backhoe, but it's not a backhoe. The chassis has been specially made. There's a few things in there, the rear king post to give us weight in the back, because typically we pull wheelies. It's not just about speed. We'll pull wheelies up to 70, 80 miles an hour. So big engine, lots of power, away it goes. Uh, it's a Chevy big block, 571. Uh, Merlin 3 with a uh, power speed, two speed transmission. Um, we're developing 1350 horsepower. It looks like it's going to be pretty excited. Do you know who you're racing against? Uh, we're not sure at the moment. They're keeping that a little bit of a secret. I don't think they want us to get the edge on him. Any scary moments for you inside this big animal? Yeah, it always is. It's different every time you take it out on a track. Let me wish you all the best. Thank you. JCB's general manager also shares some info with Race One. You have a pretty unique vehicle behind you to help bolster the JCB product. Sure. How has that been? Certainly do. I mean, wherever it goes, it draws a big crowd, lots of publicity, and uh, many, many customers are associated with motor, motor racing and drag racing, and this fits in very well with our industry as, uh, what should we say, as a flagship, really. We saw the GT, and then the, the rest of JCB is, uh, something they know about anyway yeah I mean how has it been brought here as our association with our partner Simpson Motors has been with us now over 20 years as our distributor for not just Barbados but for various islands as well very very successful and it put us into number one spot you know so we have a very high percentage of what we call market share where can people find out is on our website www.comjcb and uh, from there it takes you into all the different speciality of products we build and also we can go on to Simpson Motors website and uh, from there you go on to the JCB link so uh, we're, we're global and uh, that's a well-known brand. We've been uh, working with, uh, with Top Gear. Top Gear were inviting us and JCB and Top Gear work together all over the world on different things. So we were invited to come along and um, we decided to take this one up and bring the machine from Savannah, Georgia. Special appearance, never been here before. And uh, let everybody on the island and whoever attends enjoy what we've got to show them. beginning when we started building backhoes, I think probably the West Indies and Barbados was the first place of sale. We look upon it as being uh, the home of JCB in the Caribbean and uh, not only that, the owner of JCB, Lord Bamford, right, he also has his home here in, uh, in Heron Bay. So uh, you know we look upon that as being part of our heritage as well as our future with our partners Simpson Motors. <laughs>
Motors. Mitsubishi Motors.